Let's talk about travel first yes. of all. Will you bring in freedom from quarantine for people who've been double jabbed? I think that the whole double jab uh, process is offering uh, the real prospect of uh, opening up to travel and uh, we'll be setting out a bit more later on. But the, the, the key thing is uh, now we've got, I think, 81 uh, percent with a single jab, 60 uh, percent with a with a double jab. We're, we're doing so well. Key thing is everybody come forward, get your second jab. Would you take a trip abroad this summer? I'm going to see how we get on and uh, I'm certainly I'm certainly not uh, uh, ruling it in or ruling it out. I think that uh, what we need to do is get on and do uh, our our double jabs and that I do think offers a, a good way forward. Angela Merkel is, is calling on other EU states to force arrivals to isolate over the Delta variant. That takes a lot of potential British holiday destinations off the map. Let's see where we get to with, with all this. Uh, the most important thing is that we think double jabs do offer a good way forward. Uh, we, we think that they offer the hope of, uh, of, of travel uh, this summer. But I've got to stress one thing to everybody. I don't, I don't want to cast a pall over things. I want the travel agency to bounce back if it possibly can. But this is not going to be a, a summer like every other summer. It's going to be a, a more difficult summer to take a holiday. You welcome being drawn against Germany in the Euros. I'm sure that uh, the England team will do brilliantly, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, did you personally authorise the HMS Defender to sail close to the coast in, in the way that was suggested? Oh, well, military deploy deployments are, of course, a matter for uh, the MOD, as you'd uh, as you'd expect. But if you want my view, I think it was entirely. No, we want to know: Did you authorise it I'm yourself? I'm giving you. I'm giving you the uh, the the answer you would expect, which is that uh, these are a matter for uh, the MOD. But uh, if you want my uh, view, I think it was wholly appropriate to use international waters. Uh, and and by the way, the important point is that. We don't recognise the Russian annexation of, of Crimea. Uh, this is part of a sovereign Ukrainian territory. It was entirely right that we should vindicate the law and uh, pursue freedom of navigation in the way that we take the, the shortest route uh, between two points, uh, and that's what we did. You took a risk. Do you think it was worth it? I think it was very important for the carrier strike group to do what they're going to do around the world in partnership with 40 other countries on uh, manoeuvres, uh, sticking up for our values, sticking up for what we believe in. Uh, that includes democracy, uh, human rights, equalities, but also the rule of law and freedom of navigation. We don't recognise uh, the Russian annexation of, of Crimea. It was illegal. Uh, these are Ukrainian waters and uh, it was entirely, entirely right to, to use them for, to go from A to B. The Russians have said that our rejection that they fired warning shots are barefaced lies. Well, you know, they're the bear, uh, but those are not. That's not my. Uh, what do you mean? They're the bear? Well, uh, sorry, that, that's not my information. And uh, as, as my understanding is that uh, the uh, carrier strike group proceeded in a in, in a way that you'd expect through international waters and in accordance with the law. UK. Russian relations are they at an historic low now? No, I think uh, there's a. I, I, I can remember times in my own lifetime when uh, things have been far worse, of course. Uh, and all we're doing is upholding the, the rule of law, and, uh, and, and that's what the, one of the things that the Carrier Strike Group, in partnership with many other countries, is doing around the world.